Now let's work on a few verifying identities problems associated with half angle formulas. So let's prove that sine squared x over 2 is equal to cosecant x minus cotangent x divided by 2 cosecant x. Now recall that the half angle identity for sine is plus or minus square root 1 minus cosine divided by 2. But here we have sine squared, which means we need to square both sides. So therefore, sine squared is going to be equal to 1 minus cosine x divided by 2. So we can replace sine squared with this expression. Once we square it, the radical is going to disappear. So how can we convert 1 minus cosine over 2 into that? What we need to do is multiply the top and the bottom by 1 over sine x. And so we're going to get 1 over sine x. That's if you multiply these two. And then you have negative cosine divided by sine. And on the bottom, 2 times 1 over sine x. 1 over sine is cosecant. Cosine over sine is cotangent. And 2 times 1 over sine is 2 times cosecant. So now we've just verified the identity. And that's it for this problem. Go ahead and show that cosine squared x divided by 2 is equal to sine x plus tangent x divided by 2 tan x. Cosine x over 2, the formula is the square root of 1 plus cosine x divided by 2. So just like we did before, we're going to square both sides to get rid of the radical on the right. On the left, we have cosine squared, which is what we have here. So we can replace our original expression with 1 plus cosine divided by 2. Now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by sine over cosine. So sine over cosine times 1, that's going to be sine over cosine. And here, cosine will cancel, leaving us with sine. And on the bottom, we're just going to have 2 times sine over cosine. Now, sine over cosine can be replaced with tangent. So we have tan x plus sine x divided by 2 tangent x. So now we have just verified the identity. And that's all you need to do for this problem. Let's work on one more example. Prove that tangent x divided by 2 is indeed equal to tangent x divided by secant x plus 1. Now tangent theta over 2 has many different forms. The form that I'm going to use is this one, sine theta divided by 1 plus cosine theta. And the reason why I'm using this form is, if you look at the answer, you only have one term on top, which that's what this form has. And on the bottom, you have two terms, which is exactly what this term has. So this is the best formula to use to get it to look like this. So let's replace tangent x over 2 with this, but just without theta, using x instead. So tangent x over 2 is sine x divided by 1 plus cosine x. Now in order to turn a sine into a tangent, you need to multiply it by 1 over cosine. So whatever you do to the top, you must also do to the bottom. So sine times 1 over cosine is sine divided by cosine. Now on the bottom, we need to distribute 1 over cosine to 1 plus cosine. So 1 times 1 over cosine, well that's going to be the same thing, 1 over cosine. And cosine times 1 over cosine, they will cancel, leaving behind 1. Sine divided by cosine 
is tangent, and 1 over cosine is secant. And we're not going to change this one. We're just going to rewrite it. So now we have verified the identity.